Well, hello and welcome people to the internet to another adventure. My name is Ganyans. You know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's go ahead and jump in to some dice folk. Uh, let's see. Last time we got a run done with Storm Talisman. Okay, so we're on to Wrath Talisman. Uh, we are on to third trial mode. So what else do we get? Starter dice are stronger. Interesting. Okay, and bosses spawn with guard. Okay, ultimately, not so much of a bad trial here. I think trial two is overall going to be uh, stronger than tier three. Uh, but nice little bonus here. All right, let's get her going. Um, so what's the quickest way? Okay, so going this way is going to be the quickest way to see what Chimera we get. Pink Granite, uh, not a bad starting so what are the oh we have so many fewer reckless attacks although we have fewer hmm interesting okay so we have to keep in mind that we actually have fewer die faces that actually have attack in them right um so any any um uh any abilities here that have attack that we need to attack and trigger we don't actually have that many ways of triggering them interesting um, so we do have three free rotations, which is nice, which is countered by three random rotations. What is this? Destroy die? Inch oh, so now we can destroy enemy die. Oh, that's super good. Plus two strengthen ones. Interesting. Okay, so we might want to... We kind of want to focus on chimeras that are strong, but don't necessarily need to attack to be good. Okay. And then here's our iridescence passive plus two strength on spawn gains the amount of strength equal to the number of used equipment slots for the rest of the battle. Huh? Interesting. So, I mean, we might as well just do that. Yeah, it's not necessarily doing anything right now, but might as well. Um, okay. So activate one. We will go ahead and put this in the idol, of course. All right, let's get the first battle done. Funny enough, these look more like iridescence than this one. Um, okay, let's get Boglin in. Let's go ahead and we'll energy shock. And then I'm going to reroll. Actually, is that fine? That's totally fine. We can do that. Um, we'll just reroll what we have. Strengthen. Cool. Burn the idol, strengthen again. Um, so we're gonna clash here first. Get Muhammad in, and then we can energy shock. And then we'll probably yeah, we just get an attack. Cool, easy kill. Easy kill. Uh, right, first Chimera. Let's see what we got. And so this is a guaranteed. Isn't this a guaranteed iridescent? No. Okay, I f maybe I forgot what the trial was. Uh, yeah, so Muhammad is super good. Um, but again, we've we've already had a successful run with Muhammad. I want to try out some some different Chimera. So let's go ahead and eat our way or <laughs> eat our way. I'm reading eat grants two max HP to Chimera of choice. Okay, so I'm gonna end up giving this is it feels kind of bad. This would have been really good on Muhammad, but it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna give it all to Irid A, uh, since Irid A is very likely i don't know of a situation where iroid a would be on our team less amount of time than b or c um let's see we can go ahead and start with blame burn the idol we have a clash here clash is probably fine actually we can just destroy it. let's just destroy the clash that's fine range attack boom uh actually i'm not even going to use that so the reroll is kind of useless um let's see what else we got what else we got Um, I don't really want either of you guys in. We could clash, get the kill, but then one of these is going to have to attack. Unless we just destroy the dice, which is super fine. Get an energy attack. Uh, have to burn that. Go ahead and strengthen up. Uh, I don't want to burn the idol because I want to get a rotate here. Nice. Okay, we can get Chisley in. Go ahead and get the kill here. Uh, we will rotate. 
So we get here, then clash. Try it. There we go. Nice. Nice. Easy wins. Easy wins. And we just need a good Chimera because, man, these other Iroids are, are not doing it. Um, all right. What we got? If it's... If it's not good, I may... Ooh, what is this? This is new. Uh, Malas spell. Target and ally grants three strength for the rest of the turn. Oh, that's super good. That's actually really good. Okay, this, this is one we're taking. Um, okay, we're just going to replace Iroid B. So we have a lot of scaling potential here. We have scaling with... Mana isn't the greatest scaling. I would rather just have four really strong spells. Uh, but intellect we can scale with. Nice. So now we have uses for... Uh, I'm going to save the abandoned tent. Not sure where, where I want that to go first. So likely... What is the likely path to get up here? I guess up here and it just feeds its way over. Um... So now we have use for, oh, a comma. Okay, I gotta be be careful about a comma. If not in the lead, gains guard. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, this clash is potentially terrifying. That's just eight damage coming out of nowhere. Um. See, I guess we're going to get in Iroid C. I guess we could reroll. There is, I mean, hmm. There is, there's a, uh, ugh, not even 50% chance it's good. I guess I'm going to clash. Like, we could have gotten an Entangle or Idol, but the chances... Actually, probably should have gotten it, because the only option that was worse was just regular attack. So it, it probably would have been right to actually reroll there. Let's go ahead and strengthen here. Oh, I can just target an ally? Oh, sick. Okay. Okay, so that means range attacks might be good in the future. Three activations act, uh, attacks all opponents. Uh, we will lightly heal our boy. Um, so right now you have the only activation. We don't have any way to like passively activate though. I guess we put this here, but right right now it's kind of it's kind of useless. Ideally, we could find something to automatically activate it, or we just have it there so when Iroid is in the lead, uh, we, we can't activate his pink granite. Um, let's see, we can burn that. I think I'm gonna burn this. Uh, not burn it. Um, energy blast. That's super solid. So we can do that. We can go ahead and pump you up. Get a big blast off on everybody. Um, Clash is almost always going to be best here. But let's re-roll. See if we can rotate, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. It's just less damage. Energy shock is fine. Reroll. Okay, cool. Yeah, just in case that happens. Yeah, so I think we want to find. What do we want to find? Ideally, something to increase our int here. Nice. Let's see what we get here. Gold. Uh heals and then heals everyone cool 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 uh i still don't know who i want to throw the abandoned tent on so i guess we'll go this way try and find the uh the scroll master 
that gives us another chimera i also okay i'm gonna tell myself this now so that way i remember that if we don't take the scroll master here it this isn't scroll master isn't a one and done if you don't take it on the first floor he will appear on later floors so you don't have to take him immediately see this 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 free turn um let's go ahead and buff here we're gonna range attack the mink pocket and then i'm going to oh i swapped the wrong way that's fine uh we'll activate just to build up a guard here nice burn the idols um let's see okay we rotate the wrong way that's fine uh we can buff here get a support tack in for 12 damage oh shoot i should have strengthened first It's energy shock, not blast. Random taunt, totally fine. I'm okay with that. Another energy shock. Oh, shoot, duh. Mm. I was thinking about a different one. Okay, well, we can get rid of the clash attack. That's fine. And then we just shock for the kill. Okay. Ended up being clean. Ended up not mattering. But got to play cleaner. Nice uh, heal. We'll heal our boy. That's a little low. Okay. So we have the grave. I don't remember what the grave is. Collect all your loot. This one just deals one damage to self. Yeah. It doesn't do anything for us right now. Okay. We will hold on to it. Oh, curse chest. Be something good. Plus two strength for the rest of the battle. Exit lead, minus one strength for the rest of the battle. Okay, that, honestly, cookie sandwich pretty good. Uh, this is better. <laughs> Passive plus three int. That's totally what we want. Um, that is a much faster way of getting more strength. Okay, we will take the war diary. Boom, there we go. There's the int that we were looking for. Okay, scroll master, what you got for us? Um... Uh, Michikichi, what you got? Enter lead deals four damage to all opponents. Huh. Enter lead deals four damage to all opponents. I don't think that that's really what we want. What are we looking for? Um. Yeah, we're not really we're not really a rotate focus here especially if we're kind of building around malas so i think we're gonna pass on you michikichi you're cool but i just i just don't think that that is necessarily good enough so we're gonna hold off on the scroll master until um until next floor so let's go ahead and take a little look at the black market and see what we got here uh phoenix ashes i don't like soul gem is actually really good um for only 12 gold that's kind of insane um really good so we are going to grab that that's another three intellect which we can throw on malas and oh we have the mossy tablet too perfect okay i'm taking both of these um let's go check out the dice master i might end up buying this revive token just to have it in our back pocket Guards, rerolls. Ooh, we do have a range attack. Okay, I think I'm gonna end up buying this. And yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the f yeah. This is just better. I'm just gonna take the range attack. Especially if we get caught in a situation where our, our buffed unit um is not where we want them. Obviously, range attack is good. Um, but I think at this point, let's see, so we have this. So I want to put I'm not sure where I want the Mossy Tablet yet, so I'm not going to put this down. This will, the Soul Gem will eventually go on Malas. Um, so let's actually just go to the Bonfire now. I just realized that there was Abandoned Tent, so I actually shouldn't, I shouldn't have done this. Actually, this is fine. Um, yeah, I am just going to, so basically, I'm just going to sew, basically sew two pouches. Um, eating here doesn't really do anything because it's just going to increase stats of, two units and i don't really care about uh mouse's stats so we'll just give him some more equipment slots um interesting oh oh right because cursed right so basically what the, the thought i just had 
was this has an on unequipped um stat line but then it's also cursed and i was like well you can't equip it anyway but curse is just a um a stat a static change that can be applied to any equipment which is why that's there okay so we can do that nice we get a whole bunch of extra stats that's super great so now we're applying nine strength so we we want to find something that can attack multiple times um, and then just throw like energy missiles and mossy tablet on it because these things stack together, which will also be very good with the pink grain. So we already kind of have a build here for something that can attack multiple times. I don't or actually no, I don't think I can. Right. Because oh no, pink grain is fine. It's the mossy tablet that I want to wait on. Um, OK, elite fight. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Can we get Petrocell in? We can get Petrocell in. Nice. That means I'm not super worried about our clash. So I'm going to destroy your regular attack. Clash is fine. We can go ahead and kill you off. And then I'm not going to rotate so that way our Mantis doesn't get a free hit in. Mandragoon, what do you do? Uh, uh, inflict sleep on opposing leader. I don't really care about you, so let's just try and get down the Armantis. Just buff you up again. Energy shock, range, clash. We take a little bit of damage, but then you go out. And then we have to burn these. We can strengthen. Removes all these debuffs. That's fine. I think I'm gonna re-roll this. Actually, totally doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Yeah, once we have something that can attack multiple times, Mal's. Ooh, what is this? Ten activation. Once per battle, deals two hundred damage to all opponents. That is crazy. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and put the strength in over here. 10 activation. Okay. And then we still have 13 gold. Is there anything else? I think the, uh, let's see. Focus is interesting. I don't really care about the reroll. Can't even get the guard. Is it? Is it actually worth it to burn some gold? To get the revive token? I guess not, because we have this heal all. It's basically asking the question, do I want to save it for later? Because I'm I'm almost guaranteeing myself this win here. Um, so it's like, do do I want it for later? Um let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we want to do here? So my big attack here doesn't really do anything, huh? So we can strengthen up. I'm going to reroll everything here. Oh, that is super hot. It's a little awkward because uh, you have guard. Um, so I'm, I'm going to hold on to I'm going to hold on to Malice because we're going to we're going to miss some attack here. Then we can go ahead and Reckless get a little bit extra damage. Okay, we do have another Clash. Burn the Idol, that's fine. Yeah, so let's go ahead and buff up. Buff up. Clash is fine here. And I do have to rotate. I do not want to rotate here if possible. Um, Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So ideally, we're going to destroy this die because I don't know what that's going to do. We're going to... This is fine. We'll attack here, which will rotate. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I forgot we had bleed on. Oh, that's bad. That's not great. Okay, so we have to rotate back. 
Um, it's fine because I can buff up and range attack here. So now if I get another range attack or if I just do this, we're, we're fine. Cool. Cool. Easy boss kill. Yeah, starting starting out with having 22 attack is kind is kind of ridiculous. Um activation once per turn gains one activation, which is kind of cool with death meteor, but 10 turns is a lot. I don't think we're getting that far. On spawn if health is not full, plus 4 strength for the rest of the battle, that's pretty good. On spawn strongly heals whenever it's attacked, minus 1 HP forever. Ooh, I don't really like that. Um so we're taking Night Scimitar. The Moon Potion is really cool. That's a cool build around. Um, we could have a cool build around where we kind of have an like an AOE build. So maybe that's maybe that's a little better. Maybe this is building a little bit too far in because I already have. Oh, but the thing is, I was gonna do these two together. Actually, oh, we could have a really cool like activation build. Because with these two, once we run out of dice, this this activates, which would activate this, which would give us another activation. So basically, we're getting two activation a turn plus anything we roll. Um, so basically, every other turn, we're getting an AOE attack. And after five turns, we're getting this. So this is a four, four equipment build. Which I think... Potentially five if we do that. Okay, let, let's go for this kind of build. This is interesting. I don't know what we're going to build it on, but so far, this just screams a build, like a support build. So basically, if I'm looking for one Chimera that is like our main attacker, this is kind of our, our one support. And then maybe we can have like a tankier swap in that just has this sitting on it. That's just like a nuke waiting to happen. Okay, so we, we have a plan. We have, we know what we're looking for. We're looking for a big attacker. Something that, why can't I go up here? Oh, I guess we gotta like loop around. Void compass, KO'd. Grants a strength to the ally with the most strength. Oh, I don't like that. I'm not even gonna take it. I think it's more likely that we get something that wants to hurt itself that we want, than we want KO'd. Um, yeah, let's make our way up and around. Ooh, this is a new guy. Pemborius, what do you do? Opposing team rotates in a random direction. Once per turn, inflict bleed on all. Okay, well, Jesus, that was a free turn. Okay. Um, yeah, because right now your activation doesn't really do anything. So honestly, I think I'm just going to switch to give you a free guard. And like, we'll, we'll just do this just for a little bit of damage. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and strengthen. Idle's fine. I really don't want to rotate. And I really don't want to clash twice. I'm okay with clashing once if we can get you in, but it's not guaranteed. So I think I'm just going to completely reroll. Try it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, make sure we rotate the right way. Burn the idol. Um, we'll go ahead and buff you. Nice. So now we can clash. Energy shock to get the kill. Vermilion comes in. And then we should be able to get... Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of damage. Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of damage. Oh, it puts people on everything? Oh, that's gross. Okay, that's fine, though. Oh, broodberries, though? Man, I don't want to burn these right now. Okay, we're going a different direction. I want to hold out on those, because if there's permanent buffs, I definitely want to save them. Kibia, are you new? Turn start if in the lead against two thorns... Okay, we want to get you in if possible. Let's go ahead and do a random rotate. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and strengthen. 
I don't really want to rotate you. I think I'm just going to re-roll these. Cool. I'm okay with that. We're taking a bit of damage. We are taking a bit of damages. But we get that kill off. Why did you... Okay, so I guess you have to survive in order to get the attack off. I don't think I've re I don't think I've had that situation happen so far. And then let's rotate just in case. Yeah, I want to save. I want to spread out the damage a little bit more. Um energy blast, energy blast. Okay, well let's get guard up first. Rotate the correct way. Nice. Um Okay, so let's Buffy up first. This isn't an attack, so we don't take thorn damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so let's burn the idol. Right now, this is energy blast. I definitely... Do I care about that? Let's see what this is first. That's just regular attack. Actually, so let's just rotate. I totally don't care about that. Nice. We get a free rotate. That's cool. Can I get two kills? Yeah, 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 I can just get two kills. Okay. But I have to attack here first. We, yeah, we take a little bit of thorn damage, so I caught that in the last second. If we had attacked Kibia first with range attack, uh, we would have ended up swapping, which would not have been what we wanted. <laughs> so I actually had to take out uh, Pembo first. All right, Stonehand, what you got for us? We are actually super full on equipment, though. I guess, like, I should probably be putting these down, though. Um, through activation. Yeah, like none of these really matter, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put one down just so we open this up. Uh, on equip reveals, uh, revives and or heals the whole team. Not really needed. Grant plus one equipment slot to all allies or on equipment gain 30 gold. No, we're definitely taking ring of envy, but who is this going on? Okay, so this is interesting. I don't know how this works. I mean, I I understand how it works, but if I were to put this on Iroid, does it only give the equipment slots while we have the Chimera, or does it permanently give the equipment slots? It doesn't say while equipped. So I'm thinking, okay, hang on. I'm, I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to wait a second on that because um, there's no sense of putting it down now. We we still have one, uh, one equipment that I'm okay getting rid of. Okay, so it's this fight again. Uh, we still have an energy blast. Okay, that's a solid start. Um, we're going to take four damage. Put four damage over here. That's fine. Yep, I'm okay with that swap in case there's an attack here. Nice. Should be able to kill this turn. No, we are a little shy here. I mean, we do have the clash so we can get the kill, but I would have to I would have to burn my heal, which I don't really want to do. Um Hmm. Well, we can do this. Get a kill here. Can rotate out. This only gives two. That's not enough for a kill, though. Okay. I'm fine using the thorns here, then.
Thorns is fine, but I would rather hold on. I would rather do uh, Thorns than burn a heal. Gain activation-based equipment or gain max HP increasing equipment. Okay, so we currently, what was it? We currently have a build of four on activation. Technically five if we wanted it. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down here. Um, Gain max HP. I think I'm going to take the max HP, actually. We have a we have a half decent um, activation build already. So I think I want to diversify a little bit. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we're going to do this swap for right now. We are definitely equipment flooded, though. Um, so I, I definitely need to find something to throw it on. Uh, oh, we got an iridescent. Nice. Uh, turn start. Gain an amount of strength equal to strongest opponent's strength for the rest of the turn. I don't know that that's really what we're looking for. Actually, I know that's not what we're really looking for. We kind of, we already have strong units. I don't need strong units. I need multi-attacking units. Um. Okay, so we have some energy blasts. So let's go ahead and build up a strong attack here. Especially since we don't have thorns yet. Um, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread out a little bit of damage here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to play the smart because these are going to do less damage. They're only dealing two on their clashes. And then let's rotate. Taunt token. It's okay. Not great. Okay, so we have two Chimera options here. So first, let's check out Scroll Master because we can always go back to this. What is this? This is new. Uh, Crample. Whenever you're hurt, deal damage to a random opponent equal to the amount of equipment, of used equipment. Slot plus three. Ooh. That is interesting so you could be our tanky boy and then we just put on we already want to fill you with five okay so we have an idea of what we have here let's go check out this chimera shrine nope already know we're not taking <laughs> already know we're not taking o dragon okay so <laughs> <laughs> Poor Odoragon. <laughs> Just getting shafted constantly. Um. Okay, so. Need to put this down here because I need to put this up here. We're going to buy you Crample. Put you down here. Now, we need to get you some equipment slots uh, prompto. So, we're going to put the Moon Potion down here. We're also going to put... Okay, so for right now, I think this is probably the best one to put down here. Just free guard. Um, Malas, you don't... At this point, you don't really care about... Equi oh, what? Mm. See, I still don't know how this works. I don't want to waste it. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to waste it if this isn't like a passive thing. I wish it was just explained a little bit better how this works, right? Because if I put this here, and let's say that this is an active... It grants one equipment slot to allies when it's equipped. I don't want to give Iroid A the extra equipment slot when we could use it on a Chimera later. So, um, okay, it's it's just one it's just one more fight. Or actually, it's not even a fight. It was just the brood berries, right? Yeah. And now that we have two two permanent Chimeras, oh, this is actually super good. This is totally fine. I can give the max HP to Crample. We want him to have those anyway. 
Okay, Cactuar, uh, whenever Hurt grants one ally. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, so, we can go ahead and... Going to go ahead and get Crample and Clash here. Fortunately, that's puts in Thorns. Now we can strengthen. Idle. Rotate. Oh, super nice. Super nice. Nice. Then Thorns goes away. Uh, we can go ahead and buff up here. Get the support attack off. Idle, idle. Let's reroll. And then we can bring in Crample. Actually, I should have done that first. Okay. We're getting used to Crample. I might just re-roll this. I kind of just want an energy blast so we can get around thorns. Nice. Lightly heal. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Come on, multi-attacking Chimera. What is this? This is new. Wiscaro? You're kind of cute. KO it grants a strength to the allies to rush battle. That's not good. Okay, so not good. Not good options. Um, 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 um. I mean, like technically it's Kitsuna, but I'm not happy about it. I mean, like the, the upside is there, but there's also downside. And like you start with 10 strength or no, I guess you already have the passive. So you basically start with nine. So there has to be something with eight power for this to be equivalent, but you start with more equipment. So I guess I'm just going to do that because I kind of just need somewhere to throw my equipment at this point. Um, so this is fine. We can throw some more. HP on you and yeah like I'm still I'm still <laughs> not sold on this um hmm okay let's try it for science okay yeah it does look like it's active so basically Crample's gonna have it we're we're likely gonna replace Kitsuna but if we don't we still have that there um, so now I think this is overall the best one to have next. So at this point, okay, we can go to the abandoned tent. We know where we want to put that. And then we can go ahead. Mossy tablet is the next best one to put on. We, cause we can keep passively triggering these. Uh, let's go to the brood tree. See what we get for yummies. 8 max HP, 2 int forever, which of course I literally just put on curse, so I can't put on Malas. Um, self inflict 6 infusion, plus 2 strength forever. Okay, helps out Kitsuna a little bit. Unfortunately, it's got to be in an, in an elite fight. Let's do it. All right, let's uh, let's get Griffin in if we can. Um, okay, burning guard here. Rotate in the correct direction. Nice. Let's go ahead and activate. Can we switch the correct way? Nice. So deal five damage spread out. Uh, unfortunately, now you have thorns. I should have thought about that. Okay, we'll get a big attack in. Okay, thing, things are happening. 
moves buffs. You don't have... I don't have buffs. Get rid of that. Gonna reroll this. That doesn't count as an attack. Oh, this is actually rough. I'm actually gonna take a lot of damage here. Okay, I'm just gonna pop thorns again here. Get the kill here. Or very close to it, at least. Okay, let's go ahead and get Crample in. Uh, let's go ahead and buff you, so that way we deal some extra damage with this Clash. We have an Energy Shock for a kill. Nice. Okay, so we get the extra strength on Kitsuna. Um, okay, that's that's pretty solid. I will take that. Um, where do we want to put the support attack, though? Honestly? Yeah, it's just better than Reckless. Okay, so here uh, I will totally put this on Kitsuna. Totally fine, because if we don't want it, unequip, minus five strength, literally don't care about. Um... Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the shop. We got to check out the two shops. We haven't been there yet. What do we have? Unspawn gains guard. No more dice plus one gold. Unspawn strongly heals. Grants focus. I don't care about any of these. The full revive is nice if we need it. Um, just as an insurance policy. But let's check out the dice smith first. We have Energy Shock. That's not the one that I want. Although it's kind of, actually. It's actually not bad. Because we don't really care about the keyword attack. We kind of more just care about dealing damage. And so the fact that it's not an attack means that it gets around things like, you know, thorns. Um, gets around guard. It's actually not bad. So I think I'm going to take the Jester die. And I'm going to fill it up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to take out these Recklesses. And, and put in the Energy Tech. Or Energy Shock. I wish it was Blast, but, you know, that would probably be overpowered. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we can go down to the Bonfire. We are good on health. Yeah, we have the Heal All just in case we need it. Um, so let's go ahead and sew the pouch, put it on Crample. Now we have our, we have our build. So here we have our activators and then we have our activations. So you have the one activation, three activation and 10 activation. Nice. So Crample is done. Uh, we have 15 gold. So I think, is it worth having this? Hmm. I think it's I think it's worth having. I think overall on the third floor things are so expensive that nine gold isn't going to make the difference. Uh, that's probably going to come back to bite me. But let's see. Uh, let's take on the boss here. Ooh, what do we got here? So we have two bosses, right? Exol, half elf grants two intelligence to its allies for the rest of the battle, and then you grant strength to its allies for the rest of the battle. So ideally, so we're gonna take out Petrosel first. Um, and then ideally we're going to take out Exel. That's our, that's our goal here. Okay. So we have the energy shock, which we can re-roll. I don't think I necessarily want to do that though. So we definitely want to strengthen up. Do I want to re-roll these? Hmm. I think I'm okay re-rolling all of yours. Should have done that first. Okay, that's fine. Um, clash here is pretty decent. Okay, so let's burn this. I'm fine burning clashes here. I'm not sure about these. So let's go ahead and re-roll them first. Okay, so we do have a clash. Clash. 
don't know what you're doing yet, though. I think I am going to burn this heal. Um, hmm. It's kind of tough. Let's go ahead and get Crample in. Have Crample take the hits. Um, I don't really like the taunt. Range attack is fine. Support attack is fine. Funny enough, getting Exoc down might be the play. Because then we can get a bunch of extra strength on Kitsuna. And give this thing less turns. But with all these clashes, maybe not. Okay, so let's do this first. Let's burn off the guard. Let's go ahead and do a full reroll, I think. No, I think I'm okay with this first. Yeah, that's fine. I'm also okay with just wasting the charge there. Let's reroll everything. Yeah. Of course, you reroll the same thing. So let's go ahead and do this roll. We'll activate here. We'll go ahead and taunt up. Um, so that way, the clash attack has to go over here. Which is funny, you hit our taunter, but Kitsuna attacks there. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and strengthen up. Taunt over here. Cool, I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and buff first. Let's burn your rotation. Um, do this first. Okay, that's fine. Energy shock. So we have clash and we have a strengthen. And a couple energy shocks. We can destroy something. We also have a random rotation. Um... Honestly, I'm kind of not crazy about any of this. I think I'm actually okay doing that. I'm going to destroy your dice, Exos dice. Um, I'm going to re-roll everything. Well, that kind of sucks. So let's go ahead and do the clash first, because now you're going to buff everything. So now it doesn't hurt to take out Exol because you've already done your buff. I'm going to switch in Malas here to take this attack. Or what was likely going to be an attack. Nice. We have a huge, huge buff and damage there. Uh, we can go ahead and... Taunt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we can taunt here. We get a reroll. But I need activation because we have two clashes here. But the clashes, the clashes only really matter if you're still alive. So can I get a kill here? I don't think so. That's only 11. See, clash, the clashes are actually fine. It's the... So charge I don't care about. Um, let's go ahead and destroy this clash. We can clash here. Crample, you take the damage. And then let's set up for a kill next turn. There we go. Nice. Nice, and nobody died. Fantastic. Okay, good equipment. Uh, passive, 13 max HP. Lose one gold up to three times. Juicy meat. 
five max HP and only one strength. Okay, so that's kind of fine. Attack, small chance of healing by double the amount of damage received. Uh, don't really like that. So it's, do we want big max HP or little and a little strength? I think we just want, oh, but this is, this loses us gold. Okay, we'll take juicy meat. We'll just give that to Kitsuna. It's a little bit of extra strength. Not much. Not much. Kitsuna still is not really what we were what we were we were hoping for. Uh debris, we might as well take. What does it do? Nothing. It's pretty awful. <laughs> um Shadow Chest. Interesting. Well, let's go to the Traveler. Uh healing, max HP. Um Do I care about either of these? I don't know that I do. Okay, I'm actually going to just hold on to my gold. I think it's going to be better spent at shops. So let's go ahead and make our way up to this first Chimera. Ooh, Mercipian, you are going to help out our Katsuna a lot. Burn the idol. You don't really do anything. You inflict four burn. That's pretty much fine. Uh, we can go ahead and strengthen here. Could roll clashes here. Well, either way, we're taking a lot of damage here. Okay, well, we get a kill. Nice. Yeah, I gotta remember that we need to use all our dice. Burn, burn, burn. Nice. Uh, let's get Katsuna back in. I guess we can activate. That's fine. We'll just get a big hit off. Oh my god! I Oh, Jesus. That was so bad. I definitely confused that with support attack. That was really bad. Okay, then. Well, misplay for the ages. I should have done this first. Oh boy, people. Oh boy. We need to be playing much better than we're doing right now. Okay, this is a range. We target the enemy. Holy crap. That just okay. Um Okay, I don't really care about blood bread here. Well, we just made this way more complicated than it needed to be. Be something I want to replace Kitsuna with. Target opponent, target opponent inflicts frozen. I mean, uh, uh, hmm. Okay, so the problem with this is that a lot of our attacks don't all these energy blasts and shocks actually don't trigger this. So while it does technically count as a double attack, can't do it. Can't do it. Got to find another one. Odoragon, you are the worst chimera. You are in fact the weakest link. Um yeah, so let's go ahead and what do we want to do? Had a random reroll. Strengthen up Crample here a little bit. Help him out. Let's go ahead and buff him up. Yeah, sure. Clash is fine here. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to have to get attacked at some point here. So I guess let's then let's just do this clash now since we're not going to hit anyway. Which is interest. Oh, right, because we get hit, wake up, and then break the guard. Let's just build up the activation. Is there any reason I should not be rotating? I don't think so. So let's do random first. Gotta use my dice. Nice. Huh. Okay. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Gambos. Ally hurt grants three strength to the ally that got hurt for the rest of the turn. You're kind of more support than I want. Man, we are we are just not finding what we want. So we I think we gotta come up here and go around. Okay, what do we got? Uh, passive, plus four max HP, one strength, one int, or random. I think it's just a clear, clear choice here. We'll probably end up putting it on, on Malice. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not so great. That is not so great. Um okay, we got a we got a interesting fight here. Nice. Luck is on our side. Okay. What to do here? So I think we're going to buff up here. Oh, this isn't support. Support was going to be better. Um... Because unfortunately, if I get the kill here, Armando's going to come in and then get a free attack in on something, and it would kill Kitsuna. And we don't even have a necessarily free swap in. So I could just destroy one of these die. Likely this one. And then do a reroll. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Armando takes the hit, but that's fine. Um, burn that. We don't want to swap. I mean, we're going to have to swap. But now you're taunted up. And you have guard. But if you come back in, you're going to hit us. So we need to be careful about that. So. Let's go ahead and get this energy shock off. Because I want this. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of strength to help out here. So let's go ahead and support attack. Fortunately, we're not going to kill you. Yep, you're going to take you're going to take some damage here from Armando coming in. But we kill go and eh, yeah, you do get that, which kind of sucks. Energy blast, not really what we want right now. 
Does activation... Okay, activation doesn't count as a buff. We have Clash. We could do... I'm not really crazy about any of these, so let's go ahead and do Random Rotate. We have the Activate. Which is hot. Now we can get Crample back in with your guard. You can go ahead and Clash here. Uh, we can Energy Shock, which uses all the dice. 200 damage on everybody. Way to go, our mon uh, actually crample. Lightly heal. Oh boy, we are we are hurting Chicos. We are. That was probably the worst one to heal because I'm probably going to be replacing you here in a second. Um. Oh, good. Good. Wait, I can come back here. Oh no, I can't come back here. Okay, brood berries. Give me something good. You didn't give me something good. That is just rude. That is so rude. Okay, this one I'm going to give to Crample. Okay, please. Chimera Gods. Why? Just why? <laughs> okay, well, um, we're kind of stuck with Katsuna now. Katsuna is our go-to, which sucks. We lost out on a lot of sh a lot of shrines here. We could have gotten some buffs with. Um. So, that being the case, let's check out the dice smith. We have a mechanical die that I can buy. It's sixty. Go it's so much. The problem is we have so many faces that I would need to to fill. Um that it's it's just not worth it to do that which sucks so it means we're looking for a shop and uh, man i i i didn't want to heal but i think we need to heal we're so low and i don't have a healing token so i want to be really careful here uh yeah because something like this could happen you just inflict five burn on all of us. Not fun. Not fun. Okay, we can go ahead and strength up. Um, let's see. So ideally to make this... Okay, so I want to take out goal here. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to take a bunch of damage if we do double clashes. So I think here I'm going to burn the incapacitated. Let's go ahead and buff up. We can get a hit off. Um, give us a free clash. Okay, I'm going to reroll that. This I'm fine strengthening. Let's reroll what we got. Nice. Uh, free free we get our activates off unfortunately it puts you in the lead so we don't get a free guard that kind of sucks that's fine to use now fine to use now why do you deal so much damage oh right because we're burned okay so let's get katsuna back in because we can definitely get a kill here Let's go ahead and strengthen. Yeah, I kind of want an energy blast there. Okay, let's swap here just because it's less damage. We're still taking a decent chunk. Luckily, we got a lot of HP here. Nice. We get the guard off, so we have a free guard. Okay, so let's taunt up on Crample. We can go ahead and buff up Kitsuna. It doesn't do anything. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to swap here because I just want big damage off with this Clash. And I'm fine not swapping here. Let's do that. Uh, let's get rid of your 
clash. I can almost kill you. Well, that didn't really do anything now, did it? So let's go ahead and get a kill here. We do have a ranged attack. Where do we want to send this? We can reroll. Okay, well, we're forced to send it there now, I suppose. Okay, well, now we just have an easy kill. Cool. All right, Kitsuna, not ideal for what we wanted to do, but working out just fine. Uh, Wandering Hero, yeah, let's see what you give us. Random amount of gold or random piece of equipment. Um, You know what's interesting? I don't know if this scales. Um, so like in other roguelikes, if you trade like a, you know, like a basic attack or like a block, they give you crap. I don't know if it scales. I'm not going to use this blood bread anyway. So let's see. Uh, well, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, yeah, we had that in our last run. Never ended up using it. So that kind of sucks. Uh, black market. What you got for us? On spawn, if in the lead, inflicts. Okay, but it's passive HP. More passive HP. Randomly rotates its own team once. Wow, are these crap. Uh, like honestly, uh, yeah, they're just, they're just, they're just big crap. <laughs> um, so that being the case, oh, geez. What do I want to do with this, though? Who am I putting it on? Am I putting it on Kitsuna or am I putting on Malas? It's probably better on Kitsuna. Just getting more HP to take some clashes. Okay, so with that being the case, I'm going to go to this abandoned tent. Give Kitsuna more equipment. And put this here. Okay, so with that being the case, the shot being garbage, um, I am going to end up going and building a little mechanical die. It's not going to be great. Health is not full gain focus. Okay, so let's swap you since you're not going to get focus. Now, unfortunately, this might end up... I might end up re-rolling this, actually. This one I do click on us. Okay, let's not mess that up. So let's reroll a little bit. Nice. Cool. So we end up getting a kill. Unfortunately, it puts you in the lead so you don't get your guard off. Let's rotate back. Strengthen up. Strengthen up. Support. Energy. Go ahead and blame. That's free. Uh, no, well, you're not. Oh, you are gonna. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, God, do I play the? F okay, it's the better token to burn for right now. Glad I did. Very glad I did. This <laughs> Katsuna would have died. I'd rather burn the taunt token than the than the uh, revive. But we are we are hurting. We are hurting bad. Okay, we found our way to the boss. Ooh, I I very well might not do this elite. Um, I want to, but I also really don't want to. Um, let's see. So I have. 118. So this would bring me down to what? Do the math. 58. So I could buy a range attack. Man, it's not great. I cannot buy the support attack. Is that even worth it? That's not even worth it. Ugh, there's just nothing to buy. Do I have anything I want to burn? I can't burn the ping. Everything here is fine. Everything there is fine. What do I even buy? I guess I can buy the player dicelet. 
Okay, we're we're just buying all the little tokens at this point. This this is this is rough. Um, I don't think I can do the elite fight. We have a heal. Um, we can buy another dicelet. And then I guess that's I mean, really, like there's no point. <sighs> Whatever. Like there, there's nowhere else we can spend gold. Um I just want to make like triple sure. I could get mana. No, that that can't be right. Actually, mana could be uh mana could be good. Is it good on anything? I guess it gets rid of a random rotate on the jester die. What else could I get rid of? Could get rid of no, I want the I want a guaranteed movement ability. Okay, we're just we're just gonna do this. Because the last fight is long enough, and I don't have consistently big attacks, um, that I'm gonna want something to to help me out go a little bit longer. Oh, this is a new fight. I do not like the look of this at all. Attacks all opponents once. Oh, good lord. Oh, Jesus. Um. And you're gonna keep giving burn. Oh, okay, I just have to kill you fast. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this clash. Um, 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 And what do we have up here? Ideally, I don't want to burn these. I guess it's only on spell, right? So, likely, it's probably that, that wand. So, I guess I don't really have to worry about it too much. And honestly, the play here might just be to let Kitsuna die and then fully, fully revive. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and support tech first, because then what I'm going to do is get a buff here. We can then do a clash for our big damage. An energy shock, which is going to give us a rotate. So let's rotate. Keep Crample in the back. So up like this. That gives us our activation. So we get off. We get off a guard. And actually, that's pretty good. It gives us burn here, which I, I don't care about. Um, but I can't get Gorsalot back in. So what am I? Am I just rerolling everything? I think I'm just rerolling everything. There's really nothing here I'm super happy about. Okay. Okay, let's well, idle. Rotate you back in. Blame is removes buffs on opposing leader. I don't think that counts as a buff. That was probably okay, so like guard is buff. I don't so yeah, I don't know really what categorizes as a buff. Okay, so now, now what? Well, actually, now I can just bring in Katsuna again, because we can destroy this attack die. We're just, I'm not going to use this this turn. I'm going to wait till we have a little bit better attacks. Let's see. So we can strengthen. There are two strengthens here, which is a little scary. We do have the, the attack, which is going to kill us. So strengthen doesn't really matter if we're dying. Which again, might it might just be our play here. Although I can swap in Crample. And then potentially swap him out if we do a reroll. And honestly, we could just play the long game and try. We only need to wait three more turns.
but I think I want to be safe and not necessarily play around that. So I think these are actually fine. We're going to do that. So I think that's going to be our play, is play to the 200 damage, because that's just a free win. Is there any sense in rerolling? I might as well just reroll this. Uh, potentially... Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, we'll just throw a taunt here on Crample. Yikes! That's a big yikes! Well, actually, it's not a yikes. We can just do that. Um, okay, there is a clash here, so I think I'm going to... Unfortunately, I did just use my destroy die. And you're going to die to a clash. So we can swap in Malas. Oh, no, because you're taunted. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, maybe we can get another taunt? No. Then we get clash again anyway. Okay, unfortunately, um, well, we could remove team debuffs. I think that's fine. I'm going to remove the team debuffs. Because then we do survive this hit. Um, at this point, I do still need to worry. I mean, I'm still trying to get the kill here, but we still have an out. Nice. So next turn, we should have a kill. So we just need to survive because I really want to hold on to any of my heals if possible. Two clashes. Okay, so we just need to make it out of this turn and use all dice. That's all we need to do. Um, we do have clashes. Strengthen isn't really doing anything for us. Neither is support attack. So uh, I think I'm just going to fully reroll. Okay, I think I'm fine with this. We have energy blast, we have free rotate. So we can strengthen you. Oh, that's leader, duh, 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 duh. Okay, so we can clash once here. Can rotate in crample, clash, and then just strength, energy blast, energy shock, Rotate, activate, activate, boom, dead. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Whew. Man, that 200 damage artifact is a blessing. Um, Attack self-inflicts frozen? Ew, no. Deals two damage? All of these suck. Yeah, all of these are awful. <laughs> um, I guess we take dice hook, dice hook dagger, but they're all awful. Ah, oh, nice. We get fully healed. Okay, we are out of danger territory. Man, that hurt that whole run accidentally hitting us with a range attack. Um, So let's go into this battle. We kind of know what to expect, except that we don't because it's not the dragon. Um, And this is just a regular... Oh, because this is just a regular battle. Okay, so we do have to kill everyone. Uh, Yep, let's burn every single one of these idols. Fortunately, you're going to inflict bleed. So I think what I'm gonna do is just re-roll. I'm gonna try and get the um I'm gonna try and get an activation here. Unfortunate. I do have another shot at it. Hmm, not great. Not great. So we're just gonna go for, for big attacks here. Um actually, are you more I think you're more worth taking care of. Yeah, Kashmora is more worth it to take care of here. Did I already do this? I did. Oh, right. Because no one really has a lot of attack. Because we're going to want to be using all of our dice. Going to take a little bit of damage here. And that's also fine. Putting the confusion on here. Uh, rotate the correct way. Thank you.
Let's reroll. Sweet. Okay. Let's bring Kitsuna in. Um, here, I'm actually going to get rid of the random rotate. I'm actually fine with the clash here, I think. Big damage. Nice. Oh, shoot. Crap. I did that the wrong way. Yeah, I take more damage there than I needed to. That sucks. Well, I think, I think, uh, to be fair though, I think we're using the bonfire to heal. I don't think we really have a need to, like, increasing stats doesn't do anything, and we don't have any more equipment we want to throw on, so, um, we're kind of, like, kind of locked into needing to heal. So I think that's actually fine. Uh, we can go ahead and strengthen. Let's see, so this is going to add 9, so 27, not enough to kill. That's fine. Am I still going to buff? No, I think I'm going to hold out. But I'm going to do this because... Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. I forgot these don't trigger... Um, don't trigger confusion. Okay, we get a red and rotate. Yep, that's actually bad because we have the act uh we have the attacks all opponents, which does trigger confusion. That's not great. Um I don't like any of these options really. Yeah, I definitely oh yeah, I definitely don't want to clash right now. So we will just throw a taunt here. Reroll. Um Go the right direction, please. No. Okay, just need to wait one more turn. So, we just need to make it through this turn. Get rid of that. That's fine, because you're not... It doesn't matter once we get to the turn end. Let's see what this is. Nice. So now, I think we can just burn all our dice, right? Well, that was not great. Okay, so let's do this first. That doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. Nice. That doesn't do anything. Unfortunately, we did get that attack off the, the three activation, which dealt us a bunch of damage. Um, but the ener energy blasts were obviously good because they didn't trigger the uh, the confusion. Okay, free enemy rotate. That's not It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, okay, we do have a tent here. Who do we want to put this on? Yeah, this is this is just so bad. Yeah, especially yeah, especially where we want to be using our dice, it's just pretty bad. Um like honestly. Okay, well, we're just going to put it on Kitsuna. Is the three max HP... Ma that can't be better than the three random damage. So let's just take the damage, come back here. We'll heal up. And now we have the boss. Which, unfortunately, you come in with guard. Kind of sucks. Um, but we have a whole bunch of tools here to use as our disposal. Only lasts for one battle. Only lasts for one battle. Okay, so let's just get these going. What do these even do? Inflicts a random debuff on the opposing leader or gain a random buff. Uh, inflicts amount of bleed. Okay, so that's going to be kind of rough since you... Yeah, you have a die that clears all debuffs. Um, so let's see. We do have a random rotate. We could bleed. That would be pretty big, honestly. Getting big bleed on. I don't really care about the Scourge. Strengthen is nice, so we'll do that. Let's go ahead and buff up here. 
Yep, throw bleed on there. That's that's a lot. I think I'm going to re-roll. Where do I want to clash first? Because this is this is a free free get rid of your. This is free get rid of your guard. Or not free, but you know we don't have to spend one of our die. Um. So thorns is better, bleed is better, frost is better. Okay, so we have a couple better options there. So let's go ahead and reroll. Uh, we have mirror. What does mirror do for us? Actually, freeze is not. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, mirror can give us another rotate. Okay, so let's freeze you. Then let's do a support attack for big damage. Um, energy shock is fine. We can get a free rotate. We know we want to get Malazin because we want to get guard off here. We can then rotate you, which is going to do 29 damage. Um, I don't care about strengthening you, so we'll do that. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I should have done the mirror first. Oh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, blame is fine here. What do we have here? We have uh, Scourge. We have Taunt. Let's go ahead and strengthen first. Energy Burst would be good if I could guarantee Kitsuna in, but I, I can't. So let's go ahead and Taunt up Crample here. We've got Double Bleeds. Eh, wrong way. Okay. Um, so I... Th no, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. That's not That's not necessary. We can just re-roll. I think I'm just going to do that. Entangle's fine. Um, we're just going to rotate. That's also super fine. Let's just re-roll, see if we can get something better here. Thorns, not... I guess that's fine. Okay, so does it stay on equal to its own strength? Okay, so I am going to buff here. And then Thorn up twice. And then we'll have a, a support co attack coming from the back. Move all bosses debuffs. That's fine. This is all leaders debuffs. So that's fine. We can burn that. Uh, we can swap you in. Get some bleed damage off. Now, if you were to attack us, but you won't. So I do want to re-roll that. What is this? Inflicts confusion equal to allies, ally leader's strength on the opposing leader. So, let's try and get Katsuna in. Oh, right. We can't. Um, okay. So, we might as well use this. There we go. We have Thorns and Bleed. Okay. Thorns and Bleed are super fine. So, let's go ahead first purify because we're going to reapply Bleeds. And we can Thorn ourselves up. Nice big attack. We have a nice big support attack. We can entangle. That's fine. Two more turns until we blow everything up, which is actually lethal if we did no more damage because the body deals six damage to all allies when it dies and it will die from the 200 damage. Uh, we could do more thorns and we have freeze. This is actually a super solid hand. So let's go ahead and freeze. Uh, we'll buff up thorns, which is massive amount of thorns. Holy crap. These die were so good to pick up. Um, we can... We're going to do strength last. So let's go ahead and energy shock. We'll range you down. Ooh, where did we take? Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, I was like, how do we get down to seven? That's fine. Yeah, you're literally just dead to thorns. Nice. Okay, so <laughs> funny enough, what won us that <laughs> game so easily? The the two pickup dice that we got. <laughs> it, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't even our own. It wasn't even our own chimeras. It was literally just the two extra dice that we picked up that were busted. Um. Wow. Okay. Don't overlook those dice. 
Um, they are only one use, but if you want to save them for the end of the run, not bad to pick up. Uh, nice. So we unlock trial level four. Uh, new enemies in the desert. I haven't even checked out the compendium yet. Oh, we got a new little new little guy, reptile. We got new equipment. Super nice. Love getting new equipment. Oh, this guy looks so cool. So, this run was definitely um, not my least favorite run, but it was our least successful run, I think. Um, honestly, like, Crample was MVP. Um, but it wasn't even Crample, because this build literally could have gone on anything. We just got pretty lucky in the... Um, equipment we got we got two if we only had one activation uh triggering equipment this would definitely not have been as good uh but really like this whatever death orb whatever death meteor is absurd it basically just one shots every fight um obviously we had uh you know like the final boss had like almost 600 hp but by the time that this actually triggers your build should be good enough that you can you can easily kill it um, with this amount of damage. Plus, this is basically 260 damage in the final fight because of the Salem body. Uh, when it dies, deal 60. Um, yeah, so really, like, this build was... We just had an activation build, MVP. Like, this could... Kitsuna could have been anything. We could have thrown on a bunch of strength and it would have been fine. Um... Mallows was honestly pretty a pretty good pickup. Um, I don't think we we actually. So I think Mallows's potential, we we found what he did successfully. But the thing is, Mallows is like could have been so much better if we found a multi attacker or even like if we found a Svindle. God, Svindle is just so good. Svindle has absolutely crushed two of our runs already. Svindle would have been good. Um, I forgot what the Chimera was. We had it last time where there was a 25% chance that it would attack again upon attack. That would have been decent. Although some of our die, a lot of our die are energy blasts or energy shocks. So it wouldn't have triggered there. Um, But yeah, overall successful run. Uh, We got to run it back for trial level four. But that's going to be next time. Thank you, everyone. For watching if you like the video please leave it a like subscribe to the channel for more gaming content just like this we are going to be continuing our dice folk run until we beat it but for today i have been ganyans thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time